Good morning, everyone. Um, welcome once again. Good morning, Karen and Judy. Thanks for being here. Uh, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate your presence this morning. I appreciate you taking the time to share uh, in this moment of devotion with me as well. Today, uh, the focus text that we're going to be looking at for our devotion is from Paul's letter to the Galatians. It'll be in the fifth chapter, and we're going to read just a few verses, verse 1, and then we're going to skip down to verses 13 through 15. So if you want to go ahead, like like I have, I've already got my Bible open up to Paul's letter to the Galatians in chapter 5. You can get yourself ready and prepared if you get yourself comfortable, get yourself some coffee, and get yourself ready for this devotion. So thank you all for being here this morning. Um, before we get to that, uh, I want to begin our time together with uh, a word of prayer. Good and gracious God, in and through the life, death, and resurrection of Jesus Christ, you set us free from fear and worry and anxiety about our relationship with you, and you set us free for being in relationship with the world and all the people in and around us. Uh, may you Help us to trust in that gift and help us to embody it in our lives every day. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, uh, today I was thinking about this, the idea of being, um, being set free. Um, I'm thinking about that because that's something that is, that's being celebrated today. Uh, today is June 19th. It's also known as Juneteenth. And if you're unfamiliar with this holiday, well, well, June 19th, or Juneteenth, it's a holiday celebrating the, the liberation of those who had been held as slaves in the United States. And this holiday, it dates back um, specifically to when uh, Union Army General Gordon Granger landed in Galveston and announced the federal orders in Galveston, Texas on this date, June 19th in 1865, announcing the orders proclaiming that all people held as slaves in Texas were free. Now what's interesting about this is that this happened two and a half years after the Emancipation Proclamation, which on paper uh, you know, ended slavery in the country. But what happened is that it didn't end slavery in the real world. Yeah, it was, it was great on paper, but it didn't get put into practice throughout the country. It took two and a half years for it to be fully enacted. And I think if we really think about it, even then, it's even today, um, the, the fullness of that freedom is not experienced by, uh, by black people in this country. But this idea of, of freedom, uh, of being set free, I mean, what does it mean? What, what does it mean for us to, to be free? I mean, does freedom mean I can do whatever I want, whenever I want, however I want? Is that the nature of freedom? Well, the nature of freedom, that's something that Paul is talking about in our devotion this morning in this letter to the Galatians. And so I want to share you, uh, share with you what Paul, uh, what Paul says about what it means for us to be free. So I'm going to grab my Bible here and share this reading with you. For freedom, Christ has set us free. For you were called into freedom, my family. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for self-indulgence, but through love become servants to one another. For the whole law is summed up in a single commandment. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. If however you bite and devour one another, take care that you are not consumed by one another. Paul's getting at this idea that, that, that freedom can be a tempting thing. That it could easily be used to serve oneself. But for Paul, one's freedom, it shouldn't be self-serving. And so what Paul is describing is that, yes, we have been set free. We've been set free from the fear and the worry and the anxiety regarding our relationship with God and whether we have one, whether it's good. We've been set free from that, that worry and anxiety so that we could be set free for living in a life 
life-giving, life-promoting relationship with our neighbors. And this is what Paul says God has accomplished uh, for you and me and for all of creation and, and through Jesus' own life, death, and resurrection, that we have been set completely free. As Martin Luther uh, stated it in the, his essay, the, the Freedom of a Christian, saying that by faith alone, God sets us utterly and completely free in Christ. We are Lord of all, subject to none, yet we are bound. Love binds us as utterly dutiful servants to the neighbor, subject to everyone. We are at once utterly free in faith and a servant to all in works of love. And I think that that is something important for us to be reminded of, especially on, on this day of Juneteenth where we gather to celebrate uh, the freedom of, uh, of people in this country. But also to be reminded of that, that we are called to continue that work. That we are called to continue to set free. Continue to liberate, to, uh, to set people free in this world from systems and structures and from individual um, actions. And so my challenge to you, my encouragement for you, uh, this day is how can you put how can you put your freedom into practice how can you practice your freedom uh, to serve and to love others this day and perhaps um, you need a moment to figure out what in your life that you need to continue to be set free from and what do you need to be set free from so that you can be set free to fully live into the freedom that God gives to us well, thank you all for being here this morning, for sharing in this time uh, together. I want to close our devotion with a word of prayer and a blessing for all of you. God of love, you, you set us free. You set us free from our worries, whether we're good enough, uh, good enough or worthy. But through Christ, you... You reveal that we are always worthy, always valued, always good enough. So you set us free from that concern so that we can then be set free to love and to serve our neighbors. Inspire us by your spirit to do that, Lord. Inspire us to be workers of liberation, workers who seek to, to set free this world from all the structures and powers that seek to destroy life. May we be agents who promote the flourishing of all people. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you all for being here. Um, I will be back with you on Monday for another devotion to start off next week to get you going um, and powering, through, empowering you through all of next week as well. So uh, thank you for being here. Um, know today that God's grace has set you free set you free to love and to serve all those who are around you and set you free to love uh, love yourself as well know that today god's peace and god's blessings are with you and that they go with you always god bless all of you today mm -hmm.